The Comic Reader TCR was a comics news fanzine published from 1961 to 1984. Debuting in the pre-direct market era before the proliferation of comics retailers, TCR was the first regularly published comics industry news fanzine, and was able to secure many contacts from within the ranks of the larger publishers. As TCR increased in popularity and influence, it was able to attract professional artists to illustrate the covers. TCR also proved to be a launching pad for aspiring comic book creators, many of whom published work in the fanzine as amateurs. Contributors from the world of fandom included founding editor Jerry Bales, key editor Paul Levitz, Paul Kupperberg, Tony Isabella, Byron Price, Neil Posner, Don Rosa, Carl Gafford, and Doug Hazelwood. The fanzine was founded in 1961 as on the drawing board by Jerry Bales, the father of comics fandom. Changing its name to the Comic Reader in 1962 and being named the official bulletin of the Academy of Comic Book Fans and Collectors ACBFC. During its run, TCR won a number of industry awards, including the Alley Award and the Goethe Award, Comic Fan Art Award. In its last incarnation, published by Street Enterprises, it was more professional magazine than fanzine, and was known colloquially as the TV Guide of the Comics Industry. Publication history On the drawing board Jerry Bales founded and published On the Drawing Board in October 1961, to showcase the latest comic news. Spinning off from Bale's other zine, Alter Ego after appearing for three issues as a column within that publication, On the Drawing Board was devoted to blurbs and news items pertaining to upcoming events in pro comics. Released in standalone form as a single page news sheet on the drawing board number four, hash one to three being applied to the columns appearing in those issues of A.E. debuted on October 7, 1961. Comics fandom historian Bill Shelley described its impact. Suddenly, fans had a way to see what was coming up on the newsstands. In some cases, they also found out the names of the writers and artists of certain features, in an era before such credits were routinely given. While there was considerable interest in developments at DC, especially the revival of Hawkman, fans also closely followed the entrance of other companies into the costumed hero sweepstakes, Archie Comics, Gold Key, Charlton, and Marvel. Topic. Birth of the Comic Reader and a Succession of Editors In March 1962, issue number 8 of On the Drawing Board was retitled The Comic Reader. The On the Drawing Board name was retained for the periodical's news section. The generally monthly title became A Mainstay of Fandom, winning a 1963 Alley Award. In January 1964, Bales announced the merger of the comic reader with another of his fanzines, The Comic Collector, under the editorship of Bill White. However, a death in White's family prevented the merger from happening, at which point Florida-based published G.B. Love merged The Comic Collector into his own fanzine Rocket's Blast, as well as offering to absorb The Comic Reader. The ACBFC board, however, voted to maintain TCR as a standalone publication, and in mid-1964 New Mexico-based comics enthusiast Glenn Johnson stepped forward to take over editorial duties. Johnson was followed a succession of editors, including Daryl Rothermich, who switched the fanzine to offset printing in late 1965. Mark Hainerfeld took over TCR in 1968 with issue number 65, but by mid-1969 was having trouble maintaining a consistent publication schedule. Hainerfeld was doing double duty as executive secretary of the ACBFC, and apparently this workload was too much for him. The ACBFC went defunct in mid-1969, and despite winning a 1969 Alley Award, by early 1970 TCR was no longer being published. Topic Levitt's era In early 1971, New York teenager Paul Levitz bought the property and took over the comic reader with issue number 78, merging it with Etc., a zine he had previously co-published with Paul Kupperberg. From issues number 78 number 89, the merged zine was called Etc. and the comic reader, after issue number 90 the zines split up again. 
Under Levitz's editorship, TCR increased circulation, going monthly after a previous schedule of eight issues per year and changed format, usually featuring an illustrated cover and typically 16 pages in length. As the zine gained in popularity and influence, it was able to attract industry professionals, such as Jack Kirby, Rich Buckler, Walt Simonson, and Howard Chaikin, to illustrate the covers. During this period, TCR won two Best Fanzine Comic Fan Art Awards. Due to his work on the zine, Levitz became well known at the offices of DC Comics, where he eventually ended up working for the company for over 35 years in a wide variety of roles. TCR published ballots for the 1973 Goethe Awards for comics published in 1972. TCR staff also produced the program booklet for the 1973 Comic Art Convention, issue number 99, July 1973 featured TCR's first color cover. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Street Enterprises. In November 1973, with issue number 101, Wisconsin-based publisher Street Enterprises took over TCR and Mike Tiefenbacher took over as editor. Under Street Enterprises' oversight, TCR changed format to digest size, giving it even more the impression of being the TV guide of the comics industry. In early 1979, due to the cancellation of another Street Enterprises title, the Menominee Falls Gazette, the publisher moved many of the strips featured in the Gazette over to the Comic Reader. The Comic Reader published its final issue, number 219, in September 1984. Topic. Features In addition to news about creators, publishers, conventions, and the like, TCR ran recurring comic strips and features such as Bullet Crow by Chuck Fiala strips reprinted in two issues published by Eclipse Comics in 1987. Captain Kentucky by Don Rosa. Dateline at Hash by Fred Hembeck. Dick Duck, Duck Dick, by Jim Engel. Fandom Confidential, by Jim Engel and Chuck Fiala. Foul of Fortune, by Chuck Fiala. Topic: <laughs> Awards. 1963 Alley Award for Best Comics Fanzine. 1969 Alley Award for. Best Unlimited Reproduction Fanzine 1973, Goethe Award for Favorite Fan Magazine 1974, Comic Fan Art Award for Favorite Fanzine 1975, Comic Fan Art Award for Favorite Fanzine See also Amazing Heroes Marvel Age Wizard Topic Notes Carrot Alpha issues hash 65 to 77 edited by Mark Hainerfeld were published on an 8 times a year schedule though Hainerfeld had trouble maintaining even that reduced frequency <laughs>